Hmm, no loading screen this time. Weird. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is 2-5, a storyline sequence. Paying the price of having my power, basically. What? Forget about that power. I can't forget about that. I will be saving hundreds of people, okay, maybe not hundreds, but quite a few people throughout the course of this game with this power, and I intend on using it if I have to. <laughs> So that is kind of, you know, the point of being a doctor is to, well, or at least that's why a lot of people become a doctor, because of the fact that they want to help people. And they will do their best, whatever it takes. And in this case, in this sci-fi-ish surgery sim here, we have the healing touch, which actually drains my power, or I should say, not my power, my energy for whatever reason, so it's not a good idea to use it too often. Even though you can pretty much use it in every operation and still move on to the other operation. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but in certain operations, I, sh I should mention that if you do use the healing touch, you sometimes won't get the bonus for certain operations. So you might want to avoid using it in general uh, if you're unsure if you know if you can use it or not without getting a bonus or something like that. You get the idea. <clears throat> but he's this guy's basically saying I I should use the healing touch only when it's absolutely necessary and don't rely on it. Because there was a potential that that guy could have been saved without it, and if I use it, it could cause me trouble, even though I just explained that it wouldn't cause me trouble in the least. And, uh, what is this? Just let me die. This sounds quite depressing, but I'm afraid that we are going to have to go into the story with its dramatic music, and... <clears throat> Excuse me, I just burped a little bit. <laughs> I just ruined the moment there! An emergency patient is being brought in. Oh, poopers! And why is she in shock and losing a lot of blood? I don't know. But we are going to have to do things about this, and we're automatically into the surgery. And why is there bleeding lacerations on the lung? I don't know why. I suppose we are going to find out as we go into her, since this is emergency surgery, we don't have any other choice but to treat things as we go. I mean, we don't have time to wait for tests, man. We don't have time. We gotta get her condition stable. Here we go! <laughs> okay, I'm acting unnecessarily crazy and hyper today, but that kind of works for me anyway, and I'm going to raise her vitals just because I can before this operation starts whatsoever. Oh, I'm capped at 65. A rip-off, I tell you, a rip-off. And whoa, boy, we've got some really deep lacerations here and here. To close these, drain out the blood, uh, close them with the forceps, then suture them together while they're still closed. If you let them open up, you will regret it. Because the patient will lose a lot of blood and in turn a lot of vitals as well. So, just do one at a time, or two at a time if you got fast hands, but at the moment, do one at a time, just, you know, just for practice. But if you want to get a faster time for a higher rank, oof, that was horrible, I went like right down the middle of those. <laughs> but if you want to get a higher rank, you're going to have to multitask, especially on later operations of this. But why were those cuts there anyway? There wasn't any external injuries to speak of, right? So why were they there? I have no idea. Actually, I do have an idea. I'm just feigning ignorance here, you know, for the sake of the walkthrough. <laughs> it's kind of what I do here. Eh, B rank. It's because I was explaining stuff and being all slow and poopers and. Yeah, see? I don't know what. That was internal injuries for whatever reason. On the lung, no less. That isn't something. And that, uh, yeah, haven't it? she's cut her wrist before recently. So, is it possible maybe she swallowed something? I don't know. Maybe she swallowed razor blades or something like that and it chopped her up like it went down the wrong pipe and into her lungs or something. I don't know. But we're going to reasons why to figure out, or I should say learn about the reasons why. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I mean, it's the next episode and we gotta figure out what's going on with her, and that's what we're gonna do, and what the heck is going on? Whoa! 
This is the girl, by the way. She's kind of ornery, she's kind of depressed, she's misread, and... What do you mean you're gonna be free? Why would you want to die? There's just so much you could do! So many people you could touch, so many people you, people you could help. What are you talking about? Then again, I don't know you all that well. But still, no one deserves to die. Or, I should say, no one should want to die in, in some way. Or at least that's what us doctors would say. <laughs> at, at least that's what he's saying, I should say. I personally am against suicide and sorts and wanting to die and all that things, because there's still lots that you could do with your life. That's just my take on it. Just saying. Because even if your life kind of sucks, you could still help all other people out. And remember, other people's lives also suck in their own ways. So, if you're ever thinking of suicide or something like that, you are the only one that has problems in your life. Believe me. <laughs> but there's no reason to turn to suicide for it. But she does seem to have... I mean, this girl here. She does seem to have depression symptoms of sorts for whatever reason. Maybe she's got a hormonal imbalance or something like that. But, yep, helping someone is definitely never a waste of time. Uh, unless it's something like ultra, ultra minor that you're asked over and over again, like uh, loads of request videos. <laughs> Just saying, a little reminder here, I don't take any requests, just saying, just to remind people. Okay, I just thought I would say that. <laughs> and he's going to give her a little story about his cat named Tama, and oh, I don't like where this is going, and I see a grammatical error there, there's a comma before and, I don't think that's supposed to be there. Hmm. Just saying. <laughs> Unless my grammar skills, <clears throat> grammar skills are a little bit off here, but yeah, he thought the cat died, but the cat ran into the street. But that wasn't really the case altogether. I mean, the cat is. Well, that, that's kind of child abuse. That was kind of mean of your mom there. But I guess she did snap you out of it. <sighs> yeah, the cats are always prone to running out anyway, so it wasn't really his fault whatsoever. But hey, when you're a kid, do you kind of think it might be your fault because you didn't protect something? But some things are just beyond your power. A mirror, huh? Okay. Well? Can you? Aha! You can't! Yeah, see, she doesn't really want to die. She was just very, very depressed for whatever reason. So, yeah. It's just a little backstory on Miss Reed here. And then we are going to get into what's going on with her in the next operation here. <laughs> I always like that line there. Well, my... She says that her, her, his mom could be smart. I mean, she, she, he so Ah, what am I trying to say here? She sounds like, you, you know, her, his mom is smart, and then she, he says that she's a little bit weird. <laughs> ah, I was all tongue-tied there. I got kind of stupid from my hyperness. My hyperness was against me that time. I did not use it to my advantage. Curses! <sighs> oh, thank you. And next up, I'm not gonna, I was gonna say operation, but it's more dialogue. Ah, uh, this game is getting into a lot of dialogue again. Uh, that's, I, this is something I didn't really think about. I don't remember there being this much dialogue in the game. Maybe because I really got into the dialogue at the time. But, come to think of it, that wouldn't really make all that good of a walkthrough. <laughs> because there isn't really much action when there's this much dialogue into the story. But, uh, I guess I didn't really plan out all that much. You see, when I rehearsed parts of this game to get it down, what I did was, I only played, you know, like, certain operations that I thought I would need practice on. But I forgot to go through the storyline, and that's kind of my own fault here. So, 
in the case of, like, storyline and stuff like that, if you don't like a lot of dialogue, you probably won't like this one, or if you don't like a lot of story, you won't like this one, or, or this game. I believe you can skip dialogue if you press the minus button on your controller, uh, but you may have had to see the dialogue once before, before you can skip it. It's just been, just been a while since I've played a new save file in this game. Because when I say that I've played through this game like 860 times, what I mean is that I have played through the operations like 863 times trying to get high ranks on my original save file. Like, this is a brand new one here. Because I don't want to spoil things as I go, you know, in terms of uh, storyline names and stuff like that. So, what who is practicing euthanasia? Uh, yeah, see? It's it's another story, it's another backstory of this game that we'll be getting into a little bit later there that I thought I would point out. So remember that point there, and instead of please let me die, or this time it is please let me live. So, I'm guessing this is going to be that girl once again. Okay, it is the girl. What am I saying guessing for? <laughs> I'm just, you know, kind of putting two and two together for you if you don't get the you know, symb symbolic nature of these titles of the uh, last four operations in this part here. Uh, not, la not last four operations, last four storylines here. So, what? What the heck? She wasn't. So why, why was that overdose in there? Oh, the mood swings, but why did she have... So something else was causing that thing, and it may be the source of those... Uh-oh. Lacerations, and why... Oh my god. Emergency! Emergency! Perhaps this time we'll figure out what the heck is going on with her. Awesome, she's got motivation to live this time. So that gives us all the more motivation to save her. Here we go, baby. Oh, boy, this is not looking good. And why... How could there possibly be more hemorrhaging in the lungs already? We healed them up in the last operation. But perhaps we'll figure out what it'll be in this I operation. This and I really clicked through that dialogue a little bit too fast there. <laughs> oh, that was my bad. If you want to read it, it's like pause through it. I, I'm really fast at reading things. I forgot to tell you that before. Whenever there's a game with a lot of dialogue, I'm, I'm a really, really fast reader. So, I always say to pause the video if I read too fast for you. I, I'd much rather not spend too much time on dialogue as I would on the actual gameplay itself. Because, you know, you aren't going to need help with the dialogue. You're going to need help with the gameplay. <laughs> So, okay, let's raise our vitals to the max and go in. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got three gaping wounds this time, but wow. These are horrendous, and we are going to have to do something about it. This time, I'm going to attempt to do two at one time. Boink, and boink. Proceed as normal. No, 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 no. Oh, curses! That, that's why I don't like to do two at one time unless I'm in practice. I typically do do... Do do two at one time, so that's why I was kind of confident in doing so. But I'm not in practice enough. Now, before you, before you suture that last wound, raise the vitals to the max. I'm warning you here. All right. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything here. What? How did that just happen? Ultrasound! Ultrasound! What? Uh, what is that thingy? Holy poopers! You have to ultrasound these things and cut them out. I believe they're known as kiriaki. I never know how, knew how to pronounce the name of these things, like kiriaki, kriaki, or something like that. But these guys cause lacerations. These are part of the sci-fi aspect of this game here. Laser them to kill them once you do that. They're, it only takes two hits for each of these little critters, and let's just suture these up right here, and, uh, what? There's more? 
Looks like there's two of them now, actually. That could be a problem. The weakness of Kiriaki is the fact that they're on the surface. When they're underneath, they're much, much, much more threatening than they are when they're on the surface. There we go. And you'll see why in just a minute. Like, I'll, I'll just show you right here by keeping up with their power right now. By keeping their patient recovered while letting them do their thing. They get cut as many times as they want to. I can recover the patient faster than they can cut up the patient. Well, I should say cut up the lungs. And let's just keep destroying them like so. And vitals to the max. Hello! And this is a much bigger one here. Uh, this is like the Mama Kiriaki thingy here. I don't want to call it a queen because it's called... A mutated form of it is called that, that in a later game in the series. Minor spoilers of that. So I, would, I don't know what, what the heck I would call this one here. Maybe it's still a queen. I'm not sure. I, I, I guess I could still... I guess I could call it a queen if I wanted to. Anyway, as you see, once you... Uh, Take it, I mean, give it a hit with the laser, it'll go back into the patient like so. What you want to do to really take care of these things fast is when you laser it, get your ultrasound out right away and ping the area that they go into immediately, and you'll automatically have a lock on to where they entered into, where whatever organ they entered into. And that is the weakness of Kiriaki, is that you have to be able to get them out of the patient and you have to be fast enough to keep up with them. It's not too hard to keep up to keep up with them on any operation, except for one. And if you're a Trauma Center fan, you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> Otherwise, Kiriaki is one of the easiest strains of, in the game of this evil concoction of death. That's uh, infecting people. You, you'll you see a little bit later. I'm not going to go too much into it right now. I, I, I almost spoiled some things here. But I'm just going to end it off right now. Before I get a little bit too uh, slap happy with my tongue there. And say something that spoils a later event in the game. That I'll have to cut out in the audio or something like that. Uh, yeah. That was a close one, I have to say. <laughs> Actually, that one, was, that one was really easy. What guilt? Is that what they call that thingy? Yeah, what the heck is that? But perhaps we will find out what it is in the next storyline, dialogue, slash, operation, slash, thingy. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.